everybody. It's March 11th, 2013, and today is Kristen's 12-week weigh-in. Um, go ahead and let's get on the scale, Kristen. Last time we weighed her in, she was 199. And today, we'll see where she's at. After two more weeks. 199, 199.2. It's about the same, maybe even a tiny bit more. So what's been going on the last couple weeks? Um, food's been pretty much the same, um, and I have been doing a few workouts a week. Um, the main thing that's been different the last few weeks is I've had to work a lot of overtime. So, whereas normally I work evenings, and I'm, but I'm usually done by midnight, been up most nights till 2, 3 a.m., and so I've kind of had a lot of sleep deprivation and stress the last two weeks, and I feel like it's causing me to not be able to lose weight. And so um, I've done a couple of things now that I'm hoping will help me. One, um, I'm gonna be working out with you a few times a week to try to integrate exercise more. Two, I'm going to try to go to bed by midnight every night so I can get, you know, seven hours of sleep. And um, three, I downloaded um, my fitness pal because I'm a little worried that I'm not eating enough calories and I'm not able to lose weight if I don't, you know, at least eat like 12 to 1500 calories usually a day. Um, but stress pay, plays a big role in my weight loss and I was going good for a while, getting the sleep, eating my three meals a day. Now with the sleep deprivation, I'm eating breakfast later in the day and I'm not getting the sleep my body needs. So I've kind of hit a plateau there and I'm gonna need some help to get over that and see what I can do about getting more sleep, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, we'll see. that's we'll awesome. See in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and for those that don't realize, Kristen working late, the reason why it's causing her the sleep deprivation, she can't sleep in like somebody else. She has three kids, three and under. So she's still getting up at 6, 7 a.m. literally for a couple weeks, only getting, you know, three to five hours of sleep a night. And for those wondering about eating too few of calories, I wrote a recent blog post on women.fittofattofit.com called Starving Ourselves Fat. So check that out for information of why under eating can make you retain weight too. And we'll get Kristen's measurements in. So we just did Kristen's measurements and we're both a, a bit surprised in a good way about the results. Why don't you tell them, Kristen, um, what we found? Um, we found that I lost a lot of inches this two weeks, even though I haven't lost a lot of weight. And we think that um, in addition to, like I was talking about the sleep deprivation, we do think um, that possibly integrating the workouts has um, made me possibly gain some muscle or something and muscle weighs more than fat. But I have gone down in size, which I kind of knew because I had to buy some new clothes recently. I think when I started this journey, the highest size I've ever been is like a 3X, 22, 24. And now I'm down to a 1X, 12, 14. So um, I've gone down in size a lot quicker than I've gone down in weight which you told me might happen, that I may lose inches and not weight. Um, it is discouraging when you don't lose the weight because the weight is something a little bit more tangible or something people talk about. People talk about weight, they don't talk about inches. And it makes you feel good to lose the pounds and to be able to tell people, because people ask me all the time now, what do you weigh now, what do you weigh now, what do you weigh now? And it is a little discouraging that you can't give them the big numbers now that you know, it's harder to lose the weight as you get further into the journey. But um, it does make me feel good that I was forced to go shopping this weekend and buy a few more outfits that are small because my clothes are hanging on me. So that's the good news is that I'm losing interest even though I'm not losing weight. Yes, and that is better news because like you're talking about when you work out, that happens. Often you build muscle and you end up sculpting your body, you're losing inches, which is better. And long-term wise, you're gonna be happier doing that than quickly dropping weight, you know, just only doing cardio, which oftentimes, you know, that doesn't mean you're changing your metabolism and it's easier to gain weight back. So good job. 